What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, first things first, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we even start, and after that, we'll kick things off. But, all right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this kick-ass plant cloner I've been using over the couple of years, and this thing rocks. But let's just jump right into the video. So let's get started. This is all the stuff that you're gonna need to make this cloner. So first things first, you are gonna need three half inch tees, two six inch pieces that are half inch, then you also need four half inch elbows along with two two and a half inch pieces that are also half inch, four two and an eighth pieces that are half inch. You'll need to grab yourself nine micro sprayers, a 10 30 seconds tap, an 11 64th drill bit and drill obviously, a half inch thread, it's a half inch slip adapter, and your stem will depend on the pump that you are using for the setup. So if you're asking how I cut all this PVC, I uh, cut it all with this PVC cutter I bought at Home Depot. It's a Husky, I think it was like 15 bucks or something, it's pretty good. It doesn't make like the straightest cuts, but it's good enough for what we'd use it for. So once everything is all cut up and ready, just start putting all the pieces together and it should end up looking like this. So once everything's all assembled, you want to grab your drill and 1164 drill bit and start drilling. The two holes on the longer pieces of PVC should be centered as much as possible and everything else is pretty easy, just drill in the lines. You do want to make sure that when you drill in these holes that you clean up the burrs, it just makes life easier in the end when you're putting the sprayers in, otherwise it kind of gets like chunky and stuff when you thread them in the sprayers. Once you have everything all set up, you do want to grab your tap and just start tapping away. Um, you do need to put a little bit of pressure when you initially start, so don't be afraid to use some force. Uh, when I was tapping, I just went all the way out until it bottomed out and just, just kind of backed out. I do want to say that when you are tapping, just make sure that you, when you place the tap in, it's as straight as possible and not crooked. You do want to repeat the drilling and tapping process nine times until you have something that looks like this. Once you have a product that looks similar to this, you do want to start grabbing your micro sprayers and threading them into the assembly. Just be careful when you screw in the micro sprayers. Keep in mind they are plastic and not very strong, so you could possibly break them if you twist too hard. Once you're done installing all the sprayers, you should end up with something that looks relatively close to this. Once you have your manifold all set, just make sure you give it a quick twirl for good luck, because if you don't twirl it, you might not have good luck. Now it's time to grab your submersible water pump and that adapter that we talked about and thread the adapter into the submersible water pump. You shouldn't need to use any gaskets or o-rings because this is going to sit in the water regardless so it doesn't really matter if it leaks any water but it shouldn't leak either way. Now for this next part I actually didn't record myself drilling the holes into the lid but it is pretty straightforward. So all you pretty much want to do is just take an inch and seven eighths hole saw and just have at it at this lid. Now you do want to keep in mind that uh, one of the holes is going to be for the uh, power cord for the submersible water pump. Once that's all set, you just want to attach a manifold to your submersible water pump and place it in the bucket with some water. After you get your manifold and pump in place in the bucket, you do want to add some water if you haven't already. Uh, as you can see, I already have water in the bucket. But once that's all set, run your cord through the lid and then you can start grabbing your neoprene plugs and placing them in the lid. So I use the 1 and 7 eighths hole saw just because the neoprene plugs do fit nice and snug in here. They are a little bit of a hassle to get inside at first, but once they are in there for a little bit, they fit nice and snug. So go ahead and start putting them in here. I'll place the first couple and then I'll just go ahead and skip to the next clip so you don't have to watch me just do this for like two minutes straight. So while we wait, I do want to mention that after you use your hole saw on the lid, you should clean the burrs and any sharp edges on the lid. Just because you don't want to get any plastic pieces into your pump, it could clog the sprayers or, you know, worst case, mess up your pump and you wouldn't want to have to go buy a new one. Once all your plugs are in, you're pretty much ready to fire this thing up and start cloning your plants. And you will have great success with this thing, so have fun guys and enjoy. And uh, that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you guys know when I upload next. 